Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, well, today we are in the BMW. And what I'm doing is, I'm sorry, but it's another headlight video. I, mean, I know I've done a few of these. And uh, LED headlights or LED headlight bulbs, I've found out so far that some are absolutely horrendous and some are actually really good. So I'm hoping that these ones are of the decent type, but I shall find out. Now, the only thing is with this car is the headlights that are on it at the moment, the halogen headlights are absolutely shite. You can't see, I mean, this this is a photograph out the front of this car at night time with just the headlights. And I'll put it there. So as you can see, they're not brilliant. So, like I said, I've got these to fit. Now, in this car, because of the way that the lights are, you can't just fit LED lights. You need them. I hope that they're the right ones, because I bought ones that looks like the right ones. So we've got half a chance of them being the right ones, but I hope they are. So you need them to fit them inside the headlight. And I'll show you how to do that as well as seeing if they're any better. The first thing I need to do is obviously pull the bonnet catch. And when I've done that, I can pull this little shitter out the front of the bonnet and open the bonnet. Um, probably didn't need to show that bit, but I did anyway. You know, thoroughness and all that lot. And let's get on to fitting the actual headlight bulbs. So if we look at our headlight, it's got this weird arrangement, which has that thing, zoom out a bit, has that shagger there, and that bit turns on its own to remove the light. And that leaves us with one of those. And if you notice that bit that turns, that is what I'm hoping to replace with those. And that leads us to the second part of this. So these LED bulbs, try and do this without dropping that fucking off there in the center of there somewhere where I can never find it again. But that, that skirt pulls off, which is also useful that it moves as well because to set the beam when we get it working, and I know people are going to say, yes, but you shouldn't use LED headlights in intelligent arrangements. It's an MOT fail. I, I know. But it's more dangerous not being able to see where I'm going than having headlights that are technically not legal. That, in the past, I've proven can give out a very good beam pattern. Um, but as long as they're good lights, because if you get shit ones, it won't give it a very good beam pattern at all. Which is why I think that they're illegal, actually. But this here, no. I mean, if you're a G, you don't care that they're illegal, which we're, we're, you know, obviously we're not that bothered because we're a G. Right, so anyway, I will try and demonstrate how to fit this as best I can with dropping this as, as least amount of times as I can. So you put that in there so it fits. You see how that fits nice and lovely. And then, you put that in there like that. Oh, you dick, I didn't show it. Like, do it again so you can actually see. Right. So put that in there, and then you can put your attempt to so as i said you put that in there like that and if you put your finger up the middle of it you've got an amount of control over that to then place it in without losing it now this might be easier with both hands but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna keep on struggling with one hand because i know that that's what Obviously, watch time and that. The longer it takes, the more watch time I get and the more money I get from these stupid videos. Because obviously everyone waits and doesn't fast forward this bit. Right, so that goes in there and then you can basically clamp that into there and then turn that like, like so. So now that is actually fitted nice and snug, which is quite good. And they're fucked off down there because it's windy. Let's put them inside the car out of the way. So now, as you can see, that's in there, and this, this just pushes in. And we can turn it round to any sexual orientation that we feel like. And it needs plugging in. So we need to pull that one out, like so. And then we need to plug that one in. Now, sometimes with LEDs, it'll only work one way around. So if you plug it in, it doesn't work because this is a H7 bulb. It only has two pins on it. So you can put it in the wrong way. Now, some bulbs will still work the wrong way because, they, I don't know, they must have some sort of drive unit in them or something like that. 
But now that's plugged in there. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that though, but let's see if it works. Yes. So as you can see, it is functioning as intended. The real question is, does that give me any sort of beam pattern? And is the light that it gives out actually easier to see with? Now, if you can see on my leg, it does actually give a beam pattern that I can sort of adjust by turning that around, but I'd be better off setting that against a wall at night in a dark car park. And at the same time, I can compare it to that one. Now, like I said, these are an MOT failure on this car. Luckily, I've got 12 months MOT because it's just been done. So that's useful. So I don't need to take them out for 12 months. But yeah, like, I'm going to go to the dark car park and see and see if it actually works. But first, I've secured this to a structurally integral part of the vehicle of this wiring loom with a cable tie, just so it doesn't bounce around and come unplugged when I'm driving. As you can see, that is what you'd expect from all the top quality and best mechanics around. Um, right, so let's go to that dark car park anyway. And there we are in the dodgy dark car park to make our comparisons. And just in case it's like some sort of dogging zone or something like that, I brought my dog with me just so I can fit in. So let's try the original lights and see what they actually look like in the dark. And this is what they look like. As you can see, they are the standard halogen lights with the perfect beam pattern as it's just past its MOT. And they light up the car park in such a manner. You know what? They don't look that bad. When I was driving on the motorway the other day, they looked absolutely horrendous, but in front of me now, they don't look that bad. So that's what that looks like. So let's fit the lead ones and see how much better or more shit they are. I'll just make a mental note where that beam pattern is on that wall to get, see if it works out and if it might the same. And now, the moment of truth, let's try turn the car on. Let's, let's go ahead and turn the car on with the LEDs. Yes. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm not quite sure about that beam pattern. Let's see if I can get that any better by spinning the bulbs around in the holders. And the short answer to that appears to be no. So let's see. It does seem to go like brighter as I turn it around because it's probably pointing more at the reflectors in the lights, but the beam pattern I would deem to be probably unacceptable. So I'll get them as good as I can and then I'm gonna see how it looks. Which looks something like that shit. And in the meantime, this dog, she's um well she's a uh, Udini the fuck out of her harness. So I'm gonna to have to put that back on her now as well. But let's see if these can see, at least if I can see any further with them, and this isn't a total failure, which I think it might be so far. And uh, let's have a look. Oh look, there's another car here. Wonder what kind of dog they brought. Um, yeah, well. Let's adjust them up a bit. Oh, oh no, that's on, that's on. Yes, they are pretty wank. So it appears that this, them, are not an upgrade for this car at all. Even though the lights in this car are not very good, those are even worse. So what I think I'm gonna do now is, after the great success of the C1's LED bulbs, I think I'm gonna find some good LED bulbs some that might work. Might have to pay loads of money for them. Might have to pay like 20 whole pounds for them or something like that, maybe even more. But um, I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna go and order some of them and I'll stick them in and we'll see how them look. And now, as if by magic, I've got these. This is what I've gone for. Spent 33 pounds on these, so they better be fucking good. Um, usual brand of quality though. And the knob shite, H7s, and they've even come wrapped up like a present, so it's all exciting stuff. So, as long as they're no different from the other ones, I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and put them in. And if there are different installations to the ones that I put in before, then I'll show it. But if not, it'll just be like magic, and then they will appear 
to be in. And then what I'm going to have to do is wait until night time or wait until it goes dark, but not got long to left to wait because it's like half two now and by three o'clock it's October now, so three o'clock it's going to be dark in it and go back to a dark car park for some light flashing exercises. Yes. But I'll just show the quality of what we're looking at here. See, these are Novsight N55 model. And the reason I went for these, if you look at this here, now, out of the reviews and what have you that we're trying to find, these seem to be the ones that give a decent beam pattern in my type of headlights, which is a reflector type headlights, which, as a lot of people will know, LED bulbs don't work particularly well at giving a beam pattern in reflector headlights. And that is because, if you look at this LED here, right, if you look at the LED, on the other ones that I just put in, which I'm going to take out in a minute, um, the LED actual doofer is much bigger and sort of less intense and more spread out. And so it gives the same amount of light, but not as an intense focal point for the lens to, to do it, if that makes any sense. So these ones have got like a nice small LED on them. And like I say, all the reviews and shit that I looked at seemed to be that these were favourable to work well in my type of bed lights. So anyway, looking at it, it just looks like that. Got a fan on the back of it and um, it goes in, it appears to go in in exactly the same way as the other one. So I'm not gonna film putting it in, as I said, because I can't be bothered. So I'm gonna go and put them in and then I'll see what it looks like compared to the other ones. And as suspected, the fitting process was identical. So I'll turn it on, see if it works, because this might need turning round. Yes. And I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but it is a lot brighter and a lot less blue than the one. But by the way, I've only changed that one. That one's a knob shite, that one's a shitter. And that is a lot more white and a lot brighter so i'm hoping that it might be beneficial to see where we're going and also we don't have any error messages yet and there is just a quick comparison of what i was saying before about the size of the led chips backing out about the size of the leds and the focal point of the beam so you can see that on this one it's much more bigger and more spread out and it'll scatter the light worse and so it is looking promising that these might actually work and give a potential beam pattern, but I have run into a little bit of a problem, a little bit of an annoyance already. So I turn the vehicle on. We get yes, the jellyfish attacking us, but it is easily rectified. So if I turn the lights on, it does go out. And even if I turn the lights off afterwards, it does stay out. Now I usually have my lights on automatic, which will come on now because it's a little bit dark because it's like nearly three o'clock when it's going to go pitch black for nine months but yeah anyway error messages they're not totally error free but when they're turned on they are error free it seems so just to fuck it. i'm not putting resistance on. i'll turn them on and off every time it comes on anyway let's go to that let's go to that car park let dog walkers go moment of truth yes and as you can see the beam pattern is actually surprisingly good so let's see if we can see any better where we're going. Spoiler alert, you can. I've obviously driven the car here with them and um, I've just spent five minutes twisting the balls around in the alders to get a beam pattern, which worked, as you can see. So that, I'm actually quite impressed with. Now, I don't know if it's gonna pick up so well on camera because where I drove the other night with the other lights on was pitch black. Where I'm driving now, isn't quite pitch black, but I can confirm that they are an improvement over the original lights. Quite a big improvement over the original lights, actually. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm quite impressed with them. So anyway, that's it for this one. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Tell me about LED bulbs not being an MOT compliant accessory on, um, on non-LED headlights and all that usual shit. Uh, check out my Instagram and uh, see you next time.